thanks for joining me. I just wanted to show you a couple of things, um, just to try and sort of, yeah, show you a couple of things. Firstly, this is a, what we use as an ambulance trolley on campus, um, and this kit is all we're going to talk about today, which is your oxybiver. You use this kit a lot, it's your oxygen. If you open it up and you look in the lid, that's where all your masks sit. Uh, your OPAs, your oropharyngeal gel airways, your Gadel airways, whatever you want to call them, your MPAs, your nasal pharyngeal airways, oxygen tank, LMAs or eye gels, which you don't have to worry about, your suction kit is sitting in there, and your bag mask valve setup. Boom, boom. We'll have a quick chat about that in a tick. Now, different types of masks. I know this has been worrying a couple of you. So, this is a normal Hudson mask or a simple face mask and the oxygen tube. So the oxygen tube goes on here. You can see your oxygen regulator. Oxygen tube goes onto that and then into the mask as such. And then you turn this on by turning the wing nut on and then changing this oh, to that's two litres a minute, which your slide will tell you is 15% oxygen. Four litres a minute, which your slide will tell you is 35% oxygen. Eight litres a minute, which your slide might tell you is 50% oxygen. Or 15 litres per minute, which your slide might tell you is 65% oxygen. So you just turn that little number off. And that goes over your patient's face. Like such. Hey! <laughs> such a simple face mask. This is a face mask with a reservoir bag or a non rebreather. That gets turned on at 15 litres per minute. So 15 on the dial. You can see that the bag needs to be full and that will give you between 65 to 100% oxygen. Uh, I have some nasal prongs. That goes, oh. sit that onto there. Run these, generally speaking, at two to four litres a minute. Now, I know your book says that you, or the slides say you can put it at six litres a minute, but you'll find if you're running it at six litres a minute, you might blow someone's snot out their ears. Um, simply, goes into the nostrils as such, that goes over the ears and that gets tied up. Lovely modelling. <laughs> okay. So that's the oxygen mask that you need to worry about. The only other thing that I can show you is a nebulizer mask. Now we don't need to worry about these too much. But if I just grab out and I'll just show you how it works. So you can say, oh, that's how it works. This is very much a second year issue. So basically what you do is you open that up, open your nebulizer up by a little bit, a bit of a snap, tip that in like that, onto the top, put your oxygen mask on, or oxygen hose on, sorry, hose on this side up underneath. And when I turn this on, not on 20 litres a minute, but on 8 litres a minute. You can see the mist coming out as that um, is nebulising or misting up all the liquid in there. So it should be ventilant. Hey, that's that working. Right. So that's that part. Now, Airway manoeuvres. We have an unconscious patient lying on the ground. To start off with, we need to do a triple airway manoeuvre. So, how do you do it? Glad you asked. Number one, put your the heels of your hand over the patient's jaw, and you can push the thumb, you push the jaw down. Secondly, your fingers under the angle of the jaw, and you can lift the jaw up. And thirdly, you can tilt the head back. Triple airway manoeuvre. OPAs, we saw these and we were talking about them. You measure them up 
from the corner of the mouth to the ear or the center of the mouth to the angle of the jaw. Um, you pop them in, if you have your patient with head tilt, that's great. You pop them in upside down to start with and then you twist it around and in it goes. Naso, you measure this up from the center of the nose to the earlobe. Ah, oh, trigeus, that little fella there. Thank you. <laughs> and then how do you put them in? Your right nostril generally is bigger than your left nostril, so you go for that, aiming it straight down, push it in, twist, 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 and it goes. MPA's in. That's all we're doing for today. Hope you enjoyed that, and we'll get you doing that sort of stuff at Red School with us. Bye.